Naomi Brave and I've lived in Malden since 1998 and I moved here uh, when we bought a house, my husband and I. And my connection with the Switchbox project is I've been with Malden Arts since the beginning, uh, which was 2006, and I'm actually coordinating the project as well as uh, painting my own box. So one of the favorite things that I found out when I moved to Malden is that the Converse All-Star was originally manufactured here and it's such a great American icon sneaker and all the kids are wearing them again but a lot of people in town don't even know that it's from Malden so I thought it would be a great story to tell on my switch box and it's also a great image to have you know the sneaker is so recognizable and such a great image so my background in art is ceramics I'm a potter so I'm not a very illustrative, uh, two-dimensional artist. So I was kind of inspired by Andy Warhol and the way he flattened out images, and I thought that's something that I could handle. So I tried to you know, take the perspective out and really flatten the sneaker and wrap it around the whole box. So it was just this giant image of the sneaker. And um, I actually blew up my sketch. I did do an original sketch and I blew it up to full size so I could trace it on and um, get, you know, all the um, proportions right. And um, all this is is just uh, exterior latex house paint. You have to prime it really well because it's metal box and then use the exterior house paint. And then they're all sealed with a coat of wax to protect them from our harsh winters and the elements. So I've been working with Malden Art since 2006 when it was founded and we do Window Arts Malden every year. It's a great project but it's a lot of work and the art is up and then it's gone. So I had this idea to get art out onto the streets of the city in a more permanent way and I had seen these boxes in Somerville on my commute to work and you know all good ideas are worth stealing <laughs> or co-opting. So uh, I went to uh, the city council and Deb Burke and asked if the city was interested and they said yes. And last year, 2010, we painted 13 of them. And 2011, we actually painted 19 boxes. So there's now 32 throughout the city. And I believe there's another 35 available to paint for next year. So if anyone's interested, uh, MaldenArts.com, there's an application on there. They can. Uh, do up a sketch and uh, we'll see if we can get it approved. <laughs>